Okay, so Dougie, um, a lot of build-up going into this one. Uh, massive game for everyone involved with the club and uh, your boys pulled the win out there, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they delivered today. Um, at the start of the game, I, I, I was, I was kind of upset because you know, one of the things that we said we had to do was match their energy. And we, we knew they were the type of the team that, that they, they did. They came out and they did that. And, you know, we went down by, what, 13, 15. I think it was the biggest lead they had was 15. Um, and once we, you know, took that time out and once we figured it all out, we came back. They did a good job. They delivered today, which is excellent. You've seen your team come back from, from, from those sort of, sorts of deficits a few times this season. What is it that has been drilled into them to, to sort of be able to, to, to overcome adversity like that? I think sometimes they have to believe in themselves. Um, you know, as we were selling the change rooms, right, we've come back from double figures down before. I think what it was is we didn't let it get out too far. Um, and then we started to make some shots. Uh, and, you know, I, I didn't really want to play man-to-man defence today because I didn't think the effort would be there, but I was completely wrong. The effort on our man-to-man defence was superb and we weren't quite there with our zone. Uh, we kind of flipped it a little bit and we, and we rolled that horse all the way through. We've just been looking at a few of the game starts there. What area of the game really, really tipped it for us today, do you think? I think it was the points in the paint. Um, you know, we had 40 points in the paint, plus our, our bench points, I think, was like 33, 31 points off the bench. Um, and also um, 24 points off their turnovers. They, they had 20 turnovers, right? I didn't think it was as much as that. But, you know, we, we did an excellent job, but we were very efficient today. Um, I'd have liked to have seen us a little bit better on our defensive rebounds. We kind of lost the, event, the rebound battle by about five or six. Um, but I thought that their, um, their, their second chances and offensive rebounding and attacking the basket what, what kept them in the game, right? Biggest crowd of the season there, there for okay. tonight. Um, in, in terms of uh, basketball in this city, what does that tell you about the sort of impact this game still has in Birmingham? I'm just glad to be a part of the, the whole process. Um, the, the city has a rich, rich history of basketball. Um, from the juniors to the seniors and you know I'm looking at some of the faces out there right and you're seeing people from back in the day who are coming to support and I think it's it's big because once you see them and they come each week and they're supporting right you, you'll see more faces come as well as the new faces but uh, what I really like today is I thought it was a little bit quiet um, and then we gave them something to shout about and what, once we got that once we got the the crowd with us behind us it was, it was extremely um, tough for them. And I know that they, you know, one of the conversations we said be- um, before the, um, the game was that we've got a nice setup here. And I, and I think that, that shows a lot of respect, even from, from the, f- the, first, the first view when you first come in. But when you finish the game, you know, this, this will be one of the venues that everyone's going to want to play in. You know, you've got a fantastic relationship with Rob, Rob and Kirk, uh, obviously part, part of the board here at the club. How important was it for you to, to, to get that win tonight, not only for, for, for us in our position at the table, but for them as well? I, I think them having the faith in me um, to, to, to put me at the helm is one thing you have, you have to repay that. And as I said in the changing room after the game, right, that they've allowed me to be me. And I'm, not, I'm not easy. Anybody knows me, I'm not, I'm not easy. Um, but I've really enjoyed myself. Um, I'm glad that I can deliver the first part of it, which was surviving in the league. Um, what I loved about today, right, is we showed that how well we can play, and it doesn't matter who we play against, we, 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 we can deliver. But the, the players, you know, I, I've got to give the players a round of applause because, you know, there's not very many teams can play with a goal through the season with so many players on the, on the injured list with illness, COVID, uh, work commitments, still get like 10, 12 people at training, still come out and play their hearts out. People are stepping up each game and, and doing what they're supposed to do. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'm just glad that I can play my part in helping to, at least for the, for the interim, right, is um, bringing quality basketball um, to, to a decent crowd and help building the, um, the, the brand, right, up again.